Alright, welcome to part two of my modifications to my Hobie Pro Angler 12 video. I hope this uh, helps some people out there, gives some people some ideas. Uh, if you guys have any feedback, please uh, leave it. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll be more happy to answer them. Alright, so what I did was, first first thing I did was, um, I got the custom mounting boards. Um, teak wood's very expensive, not only that, um, I don't like the way they harvest it, so I ended up going with hard maple which is another hard wood it's not going to warp if you take care of it and you treat it right and we've been using it for a long time out in the navy so i figured might as well it's just work for us uh, i'm sure it'll work on a kayak so what i did is i went home depot you can get out of lowe's also i got one big piece uh, roughly uh eight inches by eight feet section of maple um, i bought a little bit extra just in case i messed up and i needed to make an extra piece so what I did was I ended up tracing it out. I took off the mounting boards. Make sure you mark left, make sure you mark right. Um, just in case there was any type of warping or anything that occurred when uh, the making of it. And I traced it out. I used my jigsaw and I cut, I cut out the piece of the wood. Um, as you can see, they fit perfect. They're exact, exact same size. Um, sanded them down, made sure that they were smooth, took out any type of imperfections. And I ended up using Minwax, Maple, uh, wood stain just to uh, give it a little more color. What I ended up doing is I ended up using a resin to coat the entire piece of the wood. Basically just putting a protective layer on there so that the sun and everything else won't beat down on it. Um, what I used was Bondo, the Bondo fiberglass resin. It's a two part. It's a it's basically like an A and B mixture. It's for one for every one ounce you're going to put in 10 drops of the hardener. All right what you have to do is you have to make sure that you Mix it evenly and you have to stir it up. Try not to create too many air bubbles, although they will dissipate uh, when you put it on. I used the regular foam brush. It went on really smooth. They hung, they dried uh, uh, fairly quickly. I uh, put one initial coat, a real thin thin layer, just to get it, get it going, get it uh, soaked into the wood base. And then what I did is I applied just uh, what I wanted to do. I ended up putting the navy flag and the don't tread on me because uh, it's a near and dear to my heart. Now on this side, I put my Navy Chief decal. Ended up making sure that they're real smooth. Put a put a clear coat over it. Another coat of uh, resin. Um, they harden, so now that forever be on there. Um, they're not going to come off. They're not going to peel off. They're not going to get scraped. It's going to be uh, everything I need, um, just for durability purposes. And then what I did is I ended up putting my recessed mounts back on. Um, just traced over the original hole and place those on there. And the only thing I added now was the H bar. Now for the H bar, um, it's really easy to put on. You just got to make sure that you line the bolts up and however correctly that you want it to stand up. It comes with two two parts. These two, the lower control arm, the lower arms right here, the stabilized arms. There's a long one and there's a shorter one, just depending on your height and how it's gonna be set up when you put it on. Um, all these parts, you guys can pick it up at OEX or kayakfishingsupplies.com. Uh, OEX Sunset Beach. Uh, just watch the video to the end. And I'll put the contact information for uh, for those of you out there who just want to order it, um, or you guys can go online and do it yourself uh, and order it uh, through Kayak Fishing Supplies. But everything on my kayak, I got, I got it from there. All right, so I use all stainless steel hardware. Obviously, um, you want to be sure that you don't use like any type of anodized aluminum. Um, with aluminum and wood. They corrode together and they make a powder, powdery white like substance and that's what the rust looks like for uh, aluminum and that's what happens when you uh, mix it with wood. Uh, it's just been with salt water and stuff it's going to react that way. So stay, keeping everything stainless steel is the way you want to go. The additional parts I bought for my Scotty, my Scotty mounts I got at OEX Sunset Beach. But um, you guys can order them online as well um, through Kayak Fishing Supplies. Alright since the last video I had... The regular Elite Four, but I ended up switching up to the DSI. It's the combo, so it has the mapping, it has GPS mapping. I use it so I can see the bottom structure, things like that when I'm targeting bass, targeting crappie, um, catfish, uh, whatever whatever my summertime uh, fish may be. And it really helped me during a trout season. I was able to uh, come across a lot of a, a lot of deep pockets um, structure. I found a couple browns, so that helped me out a lot. Um, the other thing I got right here is the cutting board. Uh, this is gonna help. This helps me out in the summertime when 
I'm gonna chop some bait. I wanna I wanna get some some chum going. Also, it's gonna help me when I'm dealing for catfish. I don't have to worry about having the blood and everything else from the cut bait or whatever it is inside my kayak. It's gonna be hanging over the side. And all I used was a rail mount from Scotty. The Scotty rail mount it fits perfect on onto your uh, pro angler bars. It's not gonna it's not gonna damage it. What I did is I ended up putting some rubber padding. Uh, regular just regular rubber rubber gasket material you can get it at any automotive store and I added that so in the summer I only use a couple rods um, in the rod storage so what I ended up doing is the trays that come inside inside the Hobie I ended up bought, bought an extra one I removed the two and now I have extra storage for my crankbaits I put my swim baits in there crankbaits uh, anything else I'm going to need uh, what I do is I have a bungee that I connect from right here and it goes over and it clips down here so it keeps everything in the event that I get some heavy swells I don't have to worry about anything popping out um, that's probably one of the most convenient things I've added to this kayak I mean just everything within arm's reach I don't have to worry about reaching in front of me um, I ended up getting the bucket to replace the trays that come with it uh, basically I can keep all my big swim baits in here uh, keep them up there in the netting uh, some jig heads I could put some big irons in there if I need to. Um, I could put another tackle box in there if I want. Uh, it's just basically keeping everything out of the water underneath my seat. I don't have to worry about filling it or anything. It's going to be right there in the arm's reach. Um, it makes the most sense uh, for me when I'm fishing, and it's just easier for me to uh, get my gear when I need it. All right, this H bars, the other thing that comes with comes with padding right here. Um, that's just the one that's resting against your, your ribs, resting against your stomach. It's going to be more comfortable. I also moved. My battery from underneath from underneath the bucket to inside here and basically what I did is I just have a regular dry bag I ran the wires up front it's good they, they it remains waterproof I haven't had any water in here whatsoever I keep it in a dry bag just in case um, I also put a car charger that came with my go my go zero and uh, I just added that on there so for whatever reason if I use my phone or, or I need an emergency charger real quick uh, it's real simple. It plugs into the 12 volt. It doesn't doesn't bother me. Um, I got my GoPro Wi-Fi. I just keep it right here. I put it a little bit tighter. I put it right there. So uh, all I have to do is press it. I don't have to worry about it being around my wrist. Um, I don't like wearing wrist watches or anything like that. So um, it's just a personal preference for me. Um, got my anchor trolley set up. Uh, that's real easy to do. Um, it's a uh, fairly simple everything's pre-drilled you don't have to worry about making any, any extra holes in your your pro angler 12 or 14 for that matter and that's pretty much it that's pretty much everything i've done um if you have any questions about the mounting boards please uh hit me up uh, also you can add me on facebook uh, diego gamboa fishing uh just look for me and add me ask, ask me any questions that you need to um, i'll try to help you out the best way i can i'm gonna list all the parts i was using at the end of this video on the locations where I got them just to help everybody out um, it took me a while trying to piece everything together on the internet I'm just hoping that this will help everybody and uh, keep everything on one, one central location real simple for you guys to just log on and uh, if you have any questions all right well thank you for watching uh, just wish everybody a safe time out there in the water tight lines and fish hard